a behind the scenes tour of the sphere in Las Vegas. This guy, Rich Jamiro, has that in today's Tech Smart. Uh, it makes the average concert exceptional. Yeah, and I did not experience a concert in here. I went to the postcard from Earth, which is the movie that they're showing, the first kind of movie inside the sphere, and it's still pretty incredible. Uh, this is a visual format so unique they had to invent an entirely new camera to capture for it. That's right, we're talking about the Las Vegas sphere. You've probably seen the outside. Now take a look at the inside. No doubt you've seen it on social media, the world's largest spherical structure. I went behind the scenes while the reportedly $2 billion Las Vegas sphere was under construction. Now I'm back for an inside tour. Probably the biggest power of Sphere is really it's the, it's the shared experience. The unique venue hosts both concerts and one-of-a-kind movies with a massive 16K by 16K curved screen. The atrium really talks about how technology and humanity are, are so coexistent. Visitors encouraged to arrive at least an hour before showtime to explore. So we took a lot of different data sets and basically ran it through AI engines and said, what can you come up with? There's also a holographic wall, rings of time, and an avatar scanner. Plus, you can chat with humanoid robots. Hi, Aura, we have some, uh, some press Hello, friends with us. Hello, humans, and welcome <laughs> to Spear Las Vegas. There's a neat demonstration of beamforming technology, which is used to direct precise sound waves to the 17,000 seats. So I hear something here. Step over here, I hear something completely different. Cool. Of course, the real draw is inside the theater with its breathtakingly big screen. The typically, LED screens bend in one axis if you want. Doing it in two axes makes it very difficult. Sphere had to invent a new camera with a supersized lens to capture content for the screen. Recording in this format requires 30 gigabytes a second. This drive can hold 17 minutes. I attended a screening of the debut film Postcard from Earth. The visuals were immersive, the audio exact, and the 4D effects like seat haptics, wind, and more make the experience feel like a cross between an amusement park ride and real life VR. Everything around the sphere is built around transporting people to different places and different states of mind. Tickets for that movie uh, postcard from Earth start at about $70. The movie runs about an hour. It is a really unique experience if you're visiting Las Vegas. If you want to learn more, you can go to the website richontech.tv. I've got a link there. Uh, it's kind of like a mix. And the, the whole place doesn't move, but your seat kind of does. Mm -hmm. It's a mix between the Back to the Future ride back in the day at Universal and the Soren ride at Disney, there were times when you felt like you were moving physically. Wow. Oh, wow. That's cool. Um, and your seat sort of does. But uh, a lot of people are going to be experiencing this in Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. They'll probably say, like, hey, let's oh, go yeah. check this out. Uh, people make a big deal about where to sit. Did yeah. you have a preference? There are, so for the movie itself, they, they kind of put you in the middle. Okay. So we were smack dab in the middle since we were media. Like on and they that lowest to level? Us uh, kind of the middle level. Okay, I think gotcha. We're in the 200 level. Gotcha. Um, but they're, they don't put the seats that aren't the best for the movie. Mm -hmm. They kind of block them out. But for a concert, I think any seat is pretty good. But Thank for the movie, right. if you go to the middle, that's like... I don't really think it matters. Honestly, okay. it's such an uh, immersive yeah. experience. I mean, no matter where you are, it's going to be... There are some sweet spot seats. Like any... I mean, there yeah. have to be. You yeah. Know? And you mentioned Soren. That's my favorite ride at California. It's a good one. Yeah. So even more motivation to go and... Check Especially when they do the uh, the Soarin' over California, because now they do yes. the world one. Uh -huh. yes. But once in a while, they'll bring back the old one. Yeah, the, the California one is my fave, too. It's the original. Sure. Yeah, you got you to gotta stick with the original. Absolutely. 